King tides are especially high tides that happen a few times each year when the relative positions of the moon, the sun, and earth align to exert extra strong gravitational forces on the oceans. When low-lying areas are flooded by king tides, they provide brief but dramatic previews of the everyday impact that rising sea levels will have along the New Hampshire seacoast in coming decades. Sites like these remind us that we need to take concrete steps to protect vulnerable property and infrastructure before these higher surface water levels become the everyday norm. However, there is another less visible impact from rising sea levels that can be observed during king tides if you know where to look. Built in 1795, the historic Shapley Driscoll House at Strawberry Bank Museum in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, lies around 450 feet inland from the banks of the tidal Piscataqua River. During normal high tides, twice every day, the river's depth fluctuates up and down about 8 feet. The average high tide line is at the top of the watermarked area on this riverbank wall. During these normal tide cycles, the Shapley Driscoll House's basement remains dry. But during king tides, the river rises by about another two feet. In this location, as in most places along the New Hampshire seacoast, this extra rise is not enough to cause surface level flooding, but underground, it's a different story. As the river level rises above normal, groundwater below Shapley Driscoll rises too, and the basement begins to fill with water. This time-lapse video was taken on December 5, 2017, during a king tide predicted to reach a height of 10.17 feet, which is about two feet higher than average for this location. Water flowed into the basement with a strong enough current to knock over props we had placed in the scene for reference, and to move other unexpected debris into view. Overall, the water rose to a depth of around 16 inches in just under two hours. It is ironic that this basement at a living history museum can also give us a view into the future. We are sharing that view here to shine a light on this largely hidden threat that could impact many additional seacoast properties long before rising sea levels cause major surface level impacts. Thank you. <laughs>